Hi, this is Dr. Sylvester. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about one of the most common things we see in our office, and that's uh, heel pain or plantar fasciitis. And try to give you some, some idea of what we can do for you if you have that condition, and how we treat it, and what the, the goals of the therapy are. And hopefully give you some ideas to how you can also take care of it a little bit yourself. First of all, plantar fasciitis occurs on the heel. Usually it's on the inside of the heel, on the bottom. And that occurs mostly in the morning when you first get up. Patients will come in and they'll say, gee, when I first get out of bed, those first four or five steps are miserable. And then after that, it loosens up a little bit, feels okay for a while, and then maybe usually by the end of the day, it starts hurting again. And that's pretty typical for plantar fasciitis. Now, the critical thing when you have heel pain is to make sure you're treating the right condition. We just had a lady that had come in from another doctor's office and she had been receiving injections in her heel and she really wasn't getting anywhere and so as a result she decided to come and see us and we diagnosed her as having nerve, there was actually a nerve component to her pain and so I gave her some injections in the nerve areas, not down in the uh, plantar aspect of the heel, and she experienced significant relief. In other words, the right diagnosis is critical for treatment. But the vast majority of people with heel pain is pretty simple. They have pain on the bottom of their foot. What we do generally is first of all address the inflammatory component, and we usually give a steroid injection initially. Uh, the reason I do that is because I don't like to waste my patient's time and if they come to see me, by the time they're seeing me, they are usually tired of the heel pain and they want to get over it. So we give them a steroid shot because that's the most, one of the most effective short-term therapies for heel pain available. The second thing we do is we give them an arch support. That addresses the cause, the way their foot functions. That'll help uh, kind of align the foot so that the ligament on the bottom of their heel doesn't have to take so much stress and so much tension. The third thing we do is we give them some physical therapy which consists of stretching, exercises, and ice. And if they'll do that, most of the time about 80, 70, 80 percent of people will get rid of the majority of their heel pain in a very short period of time. So what will happen is in one visit, usually by the second visit, the patient's much, much more comfortable. Now, some people don't fit that criteria. They have more severe symptoms and they need further treatments. And we have kind of a, a stepwise ladder of protocols that we use to address those problems. And so things that we do that's different that, in a, that from other clinics that, with heel pain. If the heel pain doesn't resolve initially, we have a, a modality here that we use called uh, cryosurgery where we freeze the plantar fascia. We have radio wave surgery that we can do that's all done through pinpoint, you know, just needle point uh, pr procedure and that's been ver proven very effective for uh, treating plantar fascia. Inflammation, uh, there's also some other modalities that we are obtaining in our office like shockwave therapy. But regardless, we kind of handle a spectrum of surgical treatments if that's uh, needed. Most patients don't ever get to that stage though. The vast majority of people will get better with uh, just conservative care treating their, their plantar fasciitis. So if you have heel pain, uh, give us a call. We'd love to help you out with that. We feel like we're uh, one of the best places in in South Texas where you can get rid of that in a very quick in a very quick fashion and usually without having to spend a great deal of money. Thank you very much.